What's up guys and welcome back to another video today. We are back with white day at labyrinth name school um, It's been a few days since I've recorded but I see a note here on my PC saying that I need to Reread truth finder number three um So truth finder number three yondu newspaper summer issue the secret of the storage room our school is pretty good about managing lost belongings. The school rule is that unless an owner is found, lost items will be kept indefinitely. They are sorted by the dates they were found and grouped in boxes accordingly. The items that have been unclaimed for long periods of time are stored separately. Oddly enough, there are some expensive, or, uh, yeah, expensive and rare things that can be found here. The items in this storeroom can be used by anyone. Now let's talk about the secrets of this storeroom. The room gives off a cold, creepy feel like in a haunted house. Some say it's because it's where all the unwanted items are stored, but others speculate it's because of the items left by people who've killed themselves. Let's take a look at the following story. C found a cushion that she really liked. She was worried that the cushion would be claimed before it was thrown into the forever lost box. In the end, the cushion made its way to her, but she lost it shortly after and the cushion was returned to the storage room by someone else. C went to the lost and found and took the cushion back, but somehow the cushion found its way back to the storage room. Wow. This went on for a while before she finally gave up. A former graduate recalls a time when he was shocked when entering the storage room, a music box he had seen in the storage room while he was attending the school 10 years ago was still there in the exact same condition it was back then. Perhaps there really are items possessed by ghosts in that room. Another mystery is... The fact that the quantity of life items seems to be maintained at a certain level at all times. That is peculiar. Let's take a look at the map real quick. So we still can't get into the home economics room, if I remember correctly. Why? I don't know. So I think we have to go... Can we... Okay, yeah, I can drag. I think we have to go here, but on the first floor. Which is where we are. We're on the first floor. So we gotta go here because I remember there being a door here where we had to put that thingy. Where? Oh, here we go. Open the fucking door. Close the fucking door. Oh my god, I keep doing that. Alright, well, we're putting it in. I unlocked it. Did I even check the... Game audio? Yeah. Okay. We're going. Why is it dark? Why can't... Okay. There we go. So we're going to a whole new building. That's exciting. I got an achievement. The school in darkness. I have to find a way to get to the new building. I have... I have gotten to the new building. I can take a school coin. Okay. Wow, already. Oh, we need a key for that. Okay, so let's see what this document says. Investigation report. 
title, The Mental Health of the Students, Anxiety of Students and Their Ineffective Coping Methods, written by Tai Guin Lim. I don't know. <laughs> I totally butchered that. School administration manager and Korean language teacher. Many of our students suffer from considerable anxiety about their future. Understandably so. This is quite natural considering their state as adolescents, yes. However, some students are using odd methods in an attempt to cope with their anxiety issues. These odd coping methods are spreading across the school like wildfire. In a way, this brings light to the fact that the students today lack responsibility and a sense of identity. The real problem, however, is that some of these odd coping methods are taken as more than a, just a joke. They are turning into a fanatic religion. All right. Students who have yet to form a solid sense of identity are more easily lured into joining these fan fanatic sects. One of the main coping methods the students are using is the act of calling the dead. Oh, not the Ouija board. Using a Ouija... Ah! An Ouija board. Students attempt to call upon the dead to quell the uncertainties they face by asking the ghost questions or even to predict the future. At a glance, it could be dismissed as an immature act of self-reassurance that can be safely ignored. However, that is not the case. When such acts are committed repeatedly, the student will often eventually lose his or her grasp on reality, and in some extreme cases, the student exhibits a full-on psychological breakdown. This matter must be resolved for the safety of the school, and heavy supervision is advised until a permanent solution is in effect. Okay. What is that noise? I hate it. Oh dear. So there at some point we're gonna have to find a code to wait, the map. The principal's office. Alrighty. What the heck? Oh heck no, that's a ghosty. Dude. I can answer the phone. I don't really want to. Oh. Nothing. What's the point of opening these? Okay, what? Hello? Hello? Nope. Faculty notice. Attention all teachers working night shifts. The passcode to the principal's office. Here we go. Has been changed due to a recent leak of the previous passcode. The passcode is on the chalkboard in the student department office, which is where, hold on, I'll look at it, student department office, okay, written with a piece of special chalk that is invisible under fluorescent light. The principal does not approve of others entering his office while he's away. Please use the passcode only in cases of emergencies or special circumstances. Okay, no. The, to the gym teacher, please make sure to return the student department office key. Ah, so the gym teacher has the key to the department office, which has the passcode to the principal's office on the board in a visible ink that doesn't work with fluor fluorescent lights. Which means what? That we have to use the lighter to see it? You have a habit of leaving the key inside your gym jacket pocket, making it difficult for the next shift to take over. Other faculty members are also advised to turn in the key after their shift is over. So gym jacket pocket, which where would I find that? Um, the theory of the five elements is made up of a cycle of harmony and aversion. Harmony being and energy aiding another energy to flow better. And it, it is a forward movement in a, the cycle. 
In contrast, aversion is when an energy is going against another energy to block its flow and is a backwards movement in, in the cycle, the flow of energy, the flow of aversion. The flow of aversion is as follows. Metal is greater than wood. Metal can cut through wood. Okay. Uh, wood takes nutrients from the earth. Earth can block water from flowing. Water extinguishes fire. And as fire melts metal, and then the cycle repeats, the flow of harmony is as follows. Fire returns to earth after being exhausted. Metal is extracted from the earth. Metal becomes the source of water. Water rises wo raises wood. As wood burns to create fire, and the cycle resumes from the first. In the cycle of harmony, there is a hidden principle that all wrongs will be righted. This can be said to be a true reflection of the depth of Eastern philosophy. All right. I feel like there's something important to that. Why? What is this room? I'm really hating this music. I really hate it. Lost and found key room. Where's the lost and found? Hold on. Map. I hate it. At the end of the second floor. Okay. No, because stop it. Why is it so loud? What's this? Truth finder number two. Let's learn about Morris code. Morris code is a communication code invented by and developed by Samuel Finley. Reese Morris uh, that can compose and send sentences. Yeah, we know what Morris code is. Uh, in fact, you can communicate using very simple signals as Morris code is composed of short and Long signals, you do not need a special device to communicate as long as you can express it. For example, you may send messages by controlling the speed at which you blink or tap your finger. For this characteristic, it appears often in books and movies where the main character in danger uses it to secretly send messages without being found out by the enemy. Uh, -huh, for example... If a number, if it's a number, every five signals indicate a number. So for a four digit number, it would be for five times four equals 20. Thus, you would analyze 20 signals in five sections. Okay. I'm like scared to turn this. What is this? Uh -huh. <laughs> Student apartment. Oh, this was the Dudos. Nothing in there. Will there ever be anything in there? What's this? Wait, 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 wait a minute. Why are we doing this? we doing this? I don't understand. What is the point of this? Hello? Paper crane. I don't understand the point of that. Um... Caffeine and teenagers. I don't feel like reading that. I'm not gonna lie. Uh. So, okay, let me check the map. We're in the nurse's office. And we definitely need to stop by the bathrooms just to see if there's any more felt tip pens. Oh, student department office is right here. And losses and found is here. 
So we definitely need to go to the second floor. But what I'm really perplexed about is this thing. What's the point of it? And then we can move around and all that. I'm like curious. Why it's. All right, I don't know. I don't think I'll get it. What is this? Occult Club announcement. Even event announcement from the Occult Club. With the start of a new term, we have prepared an event for everyone. We will give out a small prize for anyone who can solve this quiz and bring the hidden treasure to our club. The treasure is sleeping under a place covered by the dust of erased knowledge. What does that mean? And it can only be woken by the hand that handshakes every day. The hidden treasure is a clue to one of the latest ghost stories of the school that's quickly gaining fame. Whoever finds it first can have it. No one has been able to collect the full series so far, and therefore, it is a high commodity collection among students. It's a great opportunity to get both the clue for the latest ghost story and a handsome prize. We all hope we hope you all participate. P.S. If by any chance you collect all the clues to the ghost stories through this event, please contact the president of the occult club. All right, and this is a save. How many felt tips do I have? Let me see. Four. All right. I check properly. Ah. <laughs> Why do I always go to the girl's bathroom first? Oh my god, you jump scared me. Well, we gotta go upstairs. I'm gonna save first. I haven't played much, but I'm a busy girl recently, which is why I haven't been able to record. So I'm a... I'm gonna stop the video here. I don't know if I'm gonna like continue it later and like make combine the parts or just end it here. But yeah. If I do end the video here, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I promise the next one will be longer. What it do, what it do. This is a Nikki Senpai Zero One from the future, or I guess the present right now. But <clears throat> so when I made this video is way back in like beginning October. And since then, there has been a lot of things that have happened to me and in my life. And because of that, I took a little bit of a break uh, with posting on YouTube. <laughs> but Happy New Year to everybody. And I appreciate uh, any patience that you guys may have had waiting for me to post again. I am back. I'm probably not going to be posting every day. My goal is to post like every other day. But yeah, that's the new updated schedule. Um, partly because I've also started streaming and, and I working. My hours are a little strange. So I'm going to be posting every other day as opposed to what I tried to commit to last year that I absolutely failed in. So yeah, we're back. The next two videos after this one will also be pre-recorded videos from back in early October. So stay tuned for that. And then 
after that, I will be continuing the game in present time. So no need to worry, but I'm excited to get back into this stuff. So thank you guys again so much for watching this video and for waiting for it. <laughs> I love you guys so, so much. I know we're a small team, but we're a powerful one. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. But until the next one, I will see you all in the next video. See ya.